All righty. Today they announced Alpen Fury. Wow, almost pronounced it wrong. And uh, wow, what a busy day. I had so much to film for you guys today. The construction crews were on site. And I'm going to be able to describe in such detail about what's going on on the construction site. I'm really excited to take you guys on this journey. I also have a surprise for you guys next August. Sorry, next week, August 16th. Something really cool. Um, and my interview with Grace Peacock will be out tomorrow. Um, she answers a lot of um, some of the questions you guys have, so stay tuned for that. She reveals a lot of information. But I have to say, the creative team at Canada's Wonderland did a really stunning job on that front display showcasing Alpenfest. The merch is so cute, but let's get into what you guys are here for, and that is construction. So as you can see here, they are hard at work inside the mountain. Um, clearing and drilling as they head towards that pathway where the track is going to come up out of the top of the mountain. Um, as you see there, the excavator is digging out what is going to be a cement corridor. Um, it's going to be layered and leveled, and it's going to come down. So they are just digging out um, that so they can start pouring the start of the launch tunnel. Now, the animation is a little confusing. It makes it look like the coaster is going to go in and launch completely straight, um, but that's not the case. It's actually going to be slightly angled, if I could explain that correctly, but uh, you'll see better when they're done digging out that little corridor of cement that is going to start the entrance tunnel into the themed tunnel of this ride. Um, I'm not going to say what I know about the theming inside the tunnel. Grace Peacock has an answer for you guys on that. Um, but as you can see here, construction-wise, they are well underway um, in terms of clearing out the inside of Wonder Mountain. You're going to see a ton of shots here of the trucks just coming and going with dirt and debris um, from the basement. Uh, leaving Wonder Mountain. It is just truck after truck, and uh, the surveyors were out marking every single um, caisson and footing for this coaster. So I definitely want to hear from you guys down below. Um, was this everything you were hoping for? I know there's some concerns about capacity. I have a cons video coming out tomorrow that I want to talk about with you guys because Man, I feel like this coaster is getting a little overshadowed um, with um, some concerns of capacity, but I have a cons video that will be out tomorrow. But as you can see here, it is just truck after truck. These are different shots throughout the day. Um, there are also cement trucks heading into the mountain as well as they work on caissons. But, um, yeah, the whole construction crew is here. It is confirmed. Wonderland held off everything to prevent this from leaking um, obviously, maybe they think that loose lips sink ships, um, that saying in the business world. So maybe they were just trying to keep as little hands in the honey pot as possible. But um, along the service road, I just almost coughed, sorry. You can see all the footings marked. Um, I'm really excited. This is going to look absolutely stunning. The coaster heading on over to Extreme Sky Flyer. I love the color choice. I love the elements this coaster is better than i was even predicting obviously you guys saw my favorite element that i had escape designs add into our prediction layout it's funny escape designs was like are you sure i really don't think you should have a non-inverting loop i was like no please it's so premier i love it can we please add it so they added it so if I hadn't given my two cents, maybe we wouldn't have had the non-inverting loop in our prediction layout and it would have been even more accurate. And the funnier thing is Escape Designs wanted to do um, an inverted top hat out, uh, an inverting top hat exiting the mountain as well after the launch. And I had talked them out of it. So if I had just listened to them, we would have been even more accurate. But I think we were really close. I think we were really close with our prediction layout. Um, as you can see here, it's funny. The minute they announced the coaster, they full force just every case on getting marked, literally every case on getting marked, um, construction full force. Uh, they are going to start construction on the Extreme Skyflyer plot of land as well. They are just finishing up marking these footings before they start that. Um, you're going to see two teams essentially working. You're going to start to see them um, actually cutting out the top of the mountain. I have a feeling that's what the park has in for a surprise. Um, for us and others on August 16th. So really excited to see that as well. But um, honestly, 
I'm so excited. I can you tell? Am I am I like a little too overexcited? No, I'm not overexcited. All the Debbie Downers got to get out of here. Um, the merch is really good. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I have a haunt um, surprise for you guys at the end of the video. The new house has leaked, um, and I thought, okay, fine, I'll post post this clip since it's leaked on the website. But yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, so um, I'll say this: uh, not everything in the animation. Wait till Grace's interview tomorrow is there. So there is more to this story. There is more to Elpenfest. There is more to this coaster. Um, not everything is in the animations. Uh, the trailer for the ride is not the color scheme. I'll just say that. Wait for Grace's answer as well. Um, I will say this: uh, it is a fast lane ride. I know it doesn't list it as on the website right now, but it is fast lane. I did not get that answer from Grace. Um, and yeah, the one answer question I did ask Grace was, is it going to have lockers and a loose article policy? And she said the park can't comment on that at this time. So obviously they're not decided yet on that if it's going to be a policy. Um, the train design, there are some different designs to the train uh, that ch are a little bit different from your typical um, premier train so the side paneling is removed so it'll be a little easier to get in and out and the seats do look a little wider I had a feeling that if they were going to do the same Wonderland would have asked for some slight modifications um, El Toro Ryan made a really great video on the coaster so definitely go check that out I love what he was talking about um, in terms of capacity and Cedar Fair getting rid of seat belts so that's good news for a park like Canada's Wonderland it'll really help with those operations um, as you can see here, the drill's there. This is where the coaster will exit out of the top of the mound and come down under Wonder Mountain's Guardian. So that's going to be really sick to see. And it's going to be like right over our heads as well. So again, that's why I'm predicting a very strict loose article policy and no loose articles allowed on the ride um, with lockers. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, this is a view at the end of the day. The wood in there is for forms to go around the caissons. The little yellow cages are in there for safety to prevent people from falling in the holes. Um, again, uh, not much has fully started yet. Um, they still got a little bit of work to do, but it is going to move really quick now. Um, as you can see in there, there's the rebar cages for the caissons inside uh, the mountain. So... I'm really excited. Like it's it's awesome. This is a really powerful coaster, guys. It's it's a lot more powerful and full of airtime and just uh just start to finish, just an epic ride. Um so very excited about that. As you can see here, there is no house removals. The ruins still exist. So the ruins will still be in the mound that has not been affected by the coaster. That is one of the best mazes at the park, so that's really good to hear. Um, and the new maze is Demons of the Deep, uh, themed to, it looks like, water creatures. I guess its inspiration is that TV show or movie. I forget what it's called. But the creative department at Canada's Wonderland is killing it, so I'm really excited to see that haunted house and what they pulled out. Thanks so much for watching today's construction update. Stay tuned for all my videos tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye.